Hey guys, Electron Man, how's it going today? Well, we got a little bit of a different repair today. We're going to be working on a uh, vintage Nico, uh, Nico, Nico, I'm saying Nico, uh, AM FM stereo receiver and ST2020. Um, kind of went out and did a little specs on it. It's like 10 watts a channel. Um, of course, this is old school Japanese, and I promise you, 10 watts of good sound is more than enough to fill a room. Um, but Anyway, beside that point, um, I'm gonna. I'm really like to get this fixed. I'm planning on using this kind of as my my bench unit when I need to have uh, inputs for tape players or whatever. Uh, this will give me a a good one for that. Obviously, it's got a it's got AM, FM, Fano, and auxiliary, so it's perfect for uh, for the auxiliary. It's perfect for anything I need to to run through a set of speakers through a set of RCAs. But uh, anyway, uh, we got her sitting on the bench here, and I uh, I'm gonna sit here with you guys and. I can already tell you that switch feels fine, bass feels fine, treble's really stiff like it's dirty dirty, balance feels okay, volume barely turns, um, real stiff on the volume, uh, these selectors feel alright, tune is real nice and smooth, uh, the other switches feel okay, but uh, anyway let's go ahead and power it up and see what we got, well, we got one, <laughs> one light, okay, lovely um let me hook up my little test speaker and uh well actually no i'll tell you what let's just go ahead and dig in there obviously this is going to need some help uh let's get in there and i really hope i can get it working good and uh, restore it nice because it is in super super nice shape i looks like it probably sat in somebody's cabinet for a long time and uh they took good care of it i mean it's not dirty it's not scarred up i mean this thing would clean up and look like brand new so Let's uh let's see if we can get this old vintage uh vintage receiver going. Wow guys, can you see this? Kinda it looks like it's snowed in here. <laughs> I mean to tell you, it's got some serious, serious dust buddy issues. You know, from the outside it looks so nice and pretty clean and man on the inside, oh my gosh. What a mess as far as it caps all look good. I've got it hooked up and uh other than all the crackle you can hear from the, from all the the pots being you know dirty, all the uh, potentiometer potentiometers, you know uh, variable resistors, whatever you want to call them, the the volume control knobs and all the knobs, the swipes in there are just filthy. Um, you can tell. I'm, I'm going to go through here and clean all them. Um, and of course, as we noticed, none of the lights are working. And I got to the back of this thing, and it's got an interesting set of lights. It must be really pretty. It must light up blue or whatever, but I don't know if you can see right here, but it looks like we have a light bar running there, and uh, we don't have any lights on it. So uh, we're going to do some diagnosis on that and figure out what the heck's going on with it and see if we can't fix it or we'll LED retrofit it, whatever we need to do. But um, anyway, I wanted to just kind of show you the before. Um, I'll go ahead and get this camera set up in a different position. I'm going to go off camera here and blow it all out, and then we'll kind of get in here and figure out, really, other than cleaning all the um, the controls and uh, fixing the lights, I think we've got a perfectly good unit. I've already checked both channels. Sounds great. Um, I think this is going to be a little, nice little uh, bench bench stereo for me. Um, just need to get the... Oh, and even the selector switch here, I had to move in around to get up, get it to go to FM. It didn't want to pick it up, so it needs cleaning. But obviously, with all this dust, everything in here needs cleaning. So let me go ahead and clean it, and uh, we'll start working on this light bar, and I'll be back. How's it going, guys? Well, this got interesting, needless to say. Um, don't they always? Then I went out and started looking, and I guess it's not as unusual. I just had never seen one. But anyway, um, I've got the light circuit out of this. Um, I still haven't cleaned it, but... Obviously, I know the main thing to do is to get the lights working again, and uh, so I go to pull them apart, and I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully, you can see that pretty good, but uh, it's like, why are all these blown fuses? Well, they're not fuses. I, they're actually six-volt fuse-type incandescent bulbs. Um, wow. So anyway, I went out and started doing some searching. About the only place I even found them was on Parts Express, and they were like ten bucks a piece. Well. There is, and by the way, every single one of them is blown. I don't know why, I'm, you know, I don't know if that's a weak point or what, but you got one, two, three, four. So I need, I would need six of them. Is that right? Five or six of them. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I would need six of these. What, $60 worth of these? 
I don't think so. And then I found a retrofit 8 volt LED retrofit. And uh, I think I get those for about $20. Um, I'm not going to put, I rather have a dark display. So I got to thinking, um, why can't I use an LED? Um, I did some math here, but if that's 6 volts and it's low current, it's 250 milliamp. I don't see why I couldn't use LEDs. They, they run about 5 volt. And uh, I know it's AC instead of DC, but I think, I mean, if you think about a pair of our uh, Christmas lights, I mean, the way they do Christmas lights, they're all just uh, strung in series. There's not no transformers or nothing, and, and uh, you can have a whole string of LED lights. It just You just have to do the math of how many LEDs you need to drop the voltage down to, what, 3.3 .3 or 3.5. So I could either resist, I'm thinking I could either resist it down, or it might not be bad the way it is. But uh, anyway, well, let me, I still need to clean this, and I'm going to get in here and do a little math and do a little playing with some LEDs, but I, I'm not spending that kind of money for these silly things. That's, uh, and that, and why would you? I mean, they're not even, every one of them is out. Not exactly what I would call, <laughs> uh, a good investment. Anyway, uh, wanted to give you an update, guys. That's where we're at. Well, guys, I found, uh, I found me 12 volt source here. So I could definitely go 12 volt LED there. I kind of got this idea here where I take those fuse locks and I, uh, wired up a, LED like this. I tried that with the 6 volt AC and it does light it, but it's so dim. And that and these direction, these LEDs are so directional that uh, it just it doesn't look good. So I'm, I'm going to have to come up with something better. I, don't know, I mean, I could definitely run 12 volt and get the LEDs bright enough off that and just rewire the circuit to where it runs off 12 volts DC. But um, I think I'm still going to have a problem with these. These LEDs are just, they're, uh, they're too directional. I need a wider spaff. I need to see if maybe I can get a different type of LED that uh, that distributes the light more evenly or something. I don't know. I, we're in a conundrum. I, I got it cleaned up now. I cleaned all the, the control knobs. Um, it works perfect. Uh, we just need to do something about the lights because it's got none of them. And I'm not spending... Sixty dollars on bulbs to replace them. <laughs> so we'll come up with something anyway. Just giving you an update. That's where we're at right now. I'm gonna get on the interwebs and uh, see what I can find. And uh, probably like magic, I'll be back with a solution. Try man. Just like that, we're back. Amazing. Ah, the wonder of video. Like a week later, but for you guys, it was instantaneous. Well, check it out. I found these as replacements for uh, for these fused lights, which I had never seen before. But uh, I fortunately, when I first looked for them, they were, I found some like they were like ten dollars a piece. I did find I don't know Amazon where I could buy five of them for like about twelve bucks. So a little uh, what over two dollars a piece. Unfortunately, it was five, and I need six. So I'm still gonna have to. Uh, I'll probably use this one I built out of an LED. I might add a second LED. So a little brighter and just use it because I'm not going to buy another five of them for one of them and uh, this is the first time I've ever used these so you know it is a <laughs> it is a garage sale stirrer I don't want to drop a whole bunch of money into it but I did go ahead and get the eleven dollars but as you can see it's got three little LEDs and it's just a uh, shape the same way and uh, reading you just need to make sure when you put these guys in that you're facing them to where they're going to radiate because it's not like a incandescent bulb it's not going to radiate all the way around it's only going to radiate on the front there. So, uh, anyway, let's go ahead. And, I'll go ahead and drop one in for you here, and uh, put one in. Well, let's just see what it looks like. It's not powered up. I'll take it pretty much, which pretty much straight forward is what I want them. The uh, Hopefully that works. By the way, these were 8-volt bulbs, and the ones that came out were 6. But I did some reading, and uh, everybody said, yeah, they'll work. They might be a little dimmer than they would be at 8 volts. But then I read where they, at 8 volts, they're a little too bright. So hopefully this will be the, the perfect uh, fix. But let's go ahead and power it on and see what it looks like. Make sure I'm not showing out on anything. Hey, I think I'm going to like that. Well, we'll just go ahead and we'll just populate the rest of them in there like that and uh we'll come back and see what it looks like with uh with the lights replaced in it well guys 
it's all back together excited to see the lights here you go is that not cool turn it down it is beautiful man they just don't make them this way anymore they're all plastic and this is a real piece of wood by the way i mean japanese made i mean this is just it's a level above what you see these days it really is granted it doesn't have 500 watts and six seven speaker surround but man it's it's classic it really is i'm digging it it uh sounds great of course i i get into uh copyrights if i start playing music on it am band works good on it too um as you can see the lights they worked wonderful um i had i did my led thing over here on the meter that's the only one that doesn't look really good i'm just cheap and i don't want to have to spend another 11 dollars for one more bulb but I don't know, I might spurlage later, but I, I got it lit anyway, so it's really the meter's not that big of a deal on this type of radio, but uh, it is lit, and if I if I need, find a need to get some more bulbs, you know, and I have a spare one, I'll do it, but I just, I can't bring myself to order another five of them for one bulb, and then I'd have $22 in bulbs, and uh, I mean, it's probably worth it, but if I was going to resell it, but this is going to be on my bench, I'm actually going to put it up here, it's going to be my bench unit to uh test anything that i have that needs a little level input so i'm going to put this guy to work but anyway uh as you can tell i got her completely cleaned up and she was she was pristine before i got her i'm really tickled whoever had her before took really really good care of her there's no nicks or anything on this thing um doesn't look like it was either in a smoke and there's no yellowing on it i mean it it looks like it came out of the box honestly and it works like it came out of the box now other than those silly uh lights here well that's not even one of them but one of these silly six volt <laughs> incandescent bulbs that look like a fuse that was really the only thing i had to do to it um that and had to clean all the pots on it i mean all the all the controls were filthy the selector um volume control yeah they said it crackled and now i know why it, and it doesn't crackle at all now yeah let me see if i can let me go to talk channel. I think there's a talk channel down here, maybe. As you see, the stereo light works now. I had to fix that too. It's like. And it gets, plen it gets plenty loud enough, by the way. Um, specs on it's like 12 watts, but I checked out the, uh, the output transistors and they're actually 25 watt. So I'm thinking it's really probably peak wise, RM, RMS wise, it's probably 12 to 15, but peak, it's probably 30 or 40 a channel. You know, it's funny. You, they, they, back then in the seventies, they underrated them and now they're way overrated them. They rate them as peak now. Back then they rated them as RMS, but it doesn't have any distortion even at full volume. Nice little guy here. Anyway, I could go on and on. I'm just tickled. I got her going. Thought I'd let you see the Nyko ST2020 if you've never seen one. Um, definitely in the Marantz, Pioneer, all those 70 versions there. I'd never seen one before, and I got the reading. And actually, it uses the same light bulbs as the Marantz and the Sansu, so they're all pretty close. They're all Japanese made. If you find one of these um, in an audio file, I really think this has a richer sound to it than uh, that fancy new digital process stuff but anyway uh guys have a great day if you haven't already please uh subscribe to my channel and uh and uh give me a thumbs up